Today we're looking at the Google Nexus 6P. Um, so the main features of this one hardware wise, we have first of all, a front facing eight megapixel camera for selfies uh, with burst mode, which I'll show you in a demonstration in just a second. We also have two um, speakers here. So for sound, uh, it's a stereo sound here as well. Also on the back, as we turn the device over, we have a 12.3 megapixel uh, back facing camera with a laser pointing device which helps you focus photos quicker and easier without you having to do anything. Uh, also a microphone on the back there as well, so it also picks up sound for your videos that you take as well. So the fingerprint sensor on the back here is quite a nice looking design and doesn't intrude on the handset on the back. So what we can do here, so as I'm going to lock the device, uh, so that as you can see it's locked. As you naturally hold the handset, if you place your finger on top, it's unlocked the device. Okay, so you can register up to five fingers or five fingerprints uh, in total uh, per Gmail account on the handset, uh, which makes it even more secure to make purchases or do anything that you like or or use you know go into apps or certain parts of your phone. So this is in still mode at the moment. So now with Android M, you swipe across to go to video, uh, and then what you'll see is a little speedometer or kind of icon at the top there. With a little bit of a gauge yep. so if I tap on that that will now take 120 frames per second video okay. if I tap on that again that will now take at 240 frames per second video just to give you a demo I start recording and if I quite fast move my hand on the there press stop tap on the playback video and that will now play in real time as well as where I slow mode it and as you can see, that's 240 frames per second. I also, while we're in camera, I just want to very quickly show you burst mode. So we're going to do this in, uh, so actually I'll do it with my hand in front as well. So if you're in the camera mode, just hold the capture button. And as you can see at the bottom there, it's taking multiple photos. If I now go back into review that, what Google Photos will do will actually put all those uh, pictures into an animation for you uh, and put them into one animation file for you. Nice. Or I can still find that it says here, oh, I took eight photos on Burst. I can see them individually, just pick out the best one if it's a sports car mode or whatever, or whatever you want to take a pic. Yeah. If I want to edit it even further with Google Photos now and built, I can create a collage of it if I wanted to. Yeah, it needs to be something more interesting, but you yeah. can still make it quite easily from the start. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's how Android M works as a such. That's the added features on burst mode on the camera uh, and the fingerprint ID for the hardware and software.